Did you know that you can set any color using hex code using the join block? So in this video, we are diving into more scratch hacks to take your scratch experience to the next level. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about keys. Remember the Makey Makey extension? If not, check out my previous scratch hacks video. Now you can kick this to a next level. Use the join block to set different key copies. For instance, if you want the player to type smart, type it in the join block leaving spaces between characters, case does not matter, and leave the other input black. So now if smart is spread, for now let's just change the color effect. Now if you type smart in order, voila, it works. Why is this useful you may ask? Well, you can hide some secret skins, levels, you name it, and challenge them to type the code. Pretty cool. Here's another text related hack for you. Did you know that you can use keys like enter and others that aren't readily available? All you need is a join block. Just type the name of the key, for example, enter, and voila, it works. This trick also works with other characters. For instance, if you need to press at, type that in. And now if you hold shift and two, it registers as at, making the code work. So a thing to keep in mind that it doesn't work on all keys, but still really handy because some keys like the enter key are limited in scratch. Now onto a seemingly obvious but mind-blowing hack. You can draw triangles in scratch. Yeah, yeah, before you type in the comments, this is for beginners and if you don't know, this is a big deal. All I need to do is draw a rectangle or square, grab the reshape tool, select one point and delete it. You can further adjust it anywhere you want using the reshape tool. Again, really handy if you didn't know. Next up is the online detector. Ever wondered if you could tell whether a user is online or not? Well, you can. So how can we do this? Well, we can use any extension that requires a connection. And the perfect extension that fits here is a translate extension. Click on it, drag the translate block, select it be language, doesn't really matter. Then grab the timer block. Why the timer block? Because it constantly updates. Now put the timer block in and as you can see, so if you are disconnected, nothing happens. And that's exactly what we want. Grab an if else statement along with the forever block. If the output of the block equals nothing, then we are clearly offline. But if it returns something, the user is online. So let's test it out. Now I'm online and it says I am online. Let me disconnect and now I am offline. Pretty sick. Coming up next is the random block. You know how the default random block can give you any random integer according to the barriers you have given? Well, you can generate decimals too. Just add a point after the number and there you go. We can generate random decimal. Simple as that. Talking about the random block, did you know it could delete random stuff in the list? Well, it's really easy. Just drag the join block, type in random, and then drag the delete off block. Place the random block inside the input. There you go. Now it's just random. They deletes anything on the list. Really useful if you need something like that. So now let's dive into some website. First stop, following yourself. Yes, yes, this is surprisingly common on the website, but hey, I didn't do it. And it still works in Scratch. So all you need to do is grab two accounts, one to follow and the other as your alt account. First, we need to log in with your alt account, go to your main profile which you want to follow. Then again, open a new tab, log out from your alt account, and then you need to log back into your main account. And now you need to return to the brief page and click follow. Boom. And now if you go check your profile page, boom, you have followed yourself. Crazy, right? Next is something similar and it's remixing your own project. So for some reason, you can't do it directly in Scratch. I don't know why. So the steps are similar to the first hack. Log in with your all. Go to the project you want to remix. Open a new tab. Log in with your main account. Go back to the project. Hit remix. And now you just need to close the page, reopen it, and now you can check your My Stuff section and you'll see the remix banner. And since we are still in the website, here's another website hack. And this one is about the notes and credit section. If you're thinking the notes and credit section is a kind of boring section on the projects page, well, did you know you can completely remove it? And the way to do it, just don't type anything there. That simple. Even though you as the creator will see it, no one else will. Neat. So our next hack is about hack block. All of these blocks are hack blocks and they work in Scratch flawlessly. It doesn't break any project, nothing. You can use it normally. And if you want to check out Scratch hack blocks, make sure to check out this video where I go over every hack block in Scratch. See you in the next one.